Uh, welcome to the Pippin Pin podcast, uh, episode number one. Um, yeah, this is the very first podcast that I'm doing. This is my first time in front of a camera, um, so I might be a little nervous despite the 20 <laughs> little practice videos I made, you know, trying to find the right spot and the right lighting and just practicing, I guess. Um, anyways, my name is Megan Nodecker. I am a knitting pattern designer from Vancouver, BC. Um, you can find me on, mostly on Instagram, I, under Pip and Pin. Um, and I'll put all that in here somehow once I learn my editing stuff. Um, Pip and Pin on Instagram. Um, also Pip and Pin on Facebook, but really all my Facebook is is a link to my Instagram. <laughs> so Instagram is the best the best one to find me at. Um, I'm also on Ravelry as Knit Pip and Pin. Um, I have a um, a group on there as well called Pip and Pin. Surprise, surprise. Um, there's not too much on there right now. Um, mostly I've been using it for tests and um, there's a little intro thread there. You can come say hi um, if you've ever knit one of my patterns before. There is a, um, a full thread there as well. Um, if I decide to do any knit-alongs and things down the line, they'll be there. Um, also show notes. I'll put my show notes there. Um, I'll also put them on our website, um, pippinpin.ca. Um, I just realized I said we and are, and that is because Pippin Pin is a two-person operation. Um, I work with my sister, Katie, and um, she does all of the... I don't know how to word it. She does all of the, like, technical thing, kind of. Um, I design the knitting patterns and, um, and knit all the samples. Um, and she does the pattern layout, she keeps up the website, and uh, we do photography together, so she edits the photos, and yeah, it's just a, it's a really cool team team effort. <laughs> uh, I guess I should start with why, why I wanted to start a podcast, and, or, I guess it's not really a podcast, it's going to be a, on YouTube, so YouTube channel or whatever. Um, I guess the, the reason I wanted to start it is because I have been, I've been watching lots. Um, I've been watching lots of knitting podcasts and I'm really, really enjoying them. Um, I really like getting to know someone, um, you know, just behind, some of them don't have businesses, some of them do, and it's, it's just a really nice way to connect with other people. And sometimes, I mean... I live in Abbotsford, so it's not in the middle of nowhere, but there's not there's not a whole heck of a lot of um, knitting community out here. Usually, I drive to Langley, which is about about a half an hour drive away to my to my favorite um, yarn store. There are a couple in Abbotsford, but the one in Langley, eighty eight stitches, it's my favorite. Um, Yes, I just really like the idea of being able to connect. I like I like our little community, and I wanted to be a, a bigger part of it. Um, I was, you know, I was talking to Katie about this the other the other night, and I told her my idea, and I told her that you know I've been thinking about this for a while, and I really wanted to start um, making videos, and she thinks that you know, she thought it was a great idea, and then I started telling her, you know, all the reasons why I couldn't do it right now. And, you know, I don't have enough time, or, you know, maybe when George is in school, I have a three-year-old daughter. Um, she's eating Lucky Charms and watching Paw Patrol in the next room, so she'll probably come in. Um, but yeah, maybe waiting till George is in school. I mean, right now I'm sitting in my bedroom, all of the mess is kind of pushed to the side. Um, so, I mean, you know, I was waiting for a space to do it. And just... Whew, fly. <laughs> just waiting for the right time. And, and so we were talking about that. And she basically said, you know, everyone... 
She gave me some really, really great advice about it. She said, everyone has the same amount of time. Um, there's 24 hours in a day, there's seven days a week for everyone. And the, the trick is, you know, if there's something that you really want to do, oh, that's kind of black me. If there's something that you really want to do, then you have to find a way to make it fit. You have to fit it into your life. There's never going to be a perfect time. There's never going to be this like magical moment where everything is just going to fall into place. And I really took that to heart because you know what? I, I can do this now. I mean, I, I have a, a light set up here. I am, like I said, sitting surrounded by some mess and laundry piles <laughs> in my bedroom. Um, George is in the other room eating Lucky Charms, and yeah, she'll probably come in and say hi. And that's just how it's going to be for now, and I think that's okay. I think part of the whole reason why I liked, why I like watching other people's podcasts is because, you know, the ones that I really like, um, they're, they're people that are real, real people, and nothing's perfect, and that's what I like about it you know, um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of why I wanted to do it, and that's about it. Um, I think for now, you know, um, there have been many knitting podcasters before me. I am not the original, not by far, and I think, um, everyone kind of follows the same, um, the same sequence? when it comes to videos, and you know what, I think it works. So I am going to follow that as well. I'm going to show a little bit of my finished objects and what I'm working on now, and I mean, I think this is going to be a short one because I honestly don't really have a lot right now. This might not have been the best time to start it, but I just finished, I just finished a really, really big project uh, that I'm not allowed to talk about. Um, probably not until August. So uh, that is probably the biggest, longest, most marathon behemoth thing I've ever worked on. And um, I'm not allowed to talk about it. It's just finished blocking yesterday. I just have to weave in some ends. Uh, and I time tracked it on, um, I used Toggle to, to track all my um, time things. And I think that that one, just for the knitting, not for the pattern writing, but just for the knitting was about 130 hours, <laughs> which is a lot. It's big. It's beautiful. I'm in love. Um, and I can't show you. So I can maybe next time or the time after. I don't know how often I'll do these, but can't show you that one. Um, but yeah, I guess I, I do have something that I can show you for um, for a finished object. The yesterday, yesterday I finished a hat, and I would have been working on this on and off for a little while. But it is a new sample, um, getting ready for Knit City and the uh, indie designer gift along is coming up in September too. So I wanted to, um, this is my rhomboid hat. Um, it's a pattern that I made about four years ago and I just wanted to re-knit it and I think we're gonna redo the pattern, take some new pictures. Um, yeah, so this is it. Uh, it's a kind of slouchy um, hat with some cool chevrony things. It's been um, quite a popular pattern of mine since since it came out. It was my first pattern to like do something. So it's very exciting. Um, this sample was knit with um, Malabrigo Rios in pearl, I believe. And um, my first sample was with Patton's classic wool worsted. And this one's much more luxurious. <laughs> that was, I think, a little before. Not that patents is a bad wool, but it has it has its place. But you know, this that was made before I knew too much about beautiful hand dyed things. So yeah, this is the rhomboid hat. 
Um, we'll probably, there's a little slouch back there. We'll probably take some new pictures. I don't know, we have to take some, some product shots of uh, quite a few things in the next couple weeks, so that will be one of them. And that's really, that's really all I have for foes. Um, I haven't been, like I said, I was working on that really big, big thing. So I haven't, I really haven't been doing anything for myself. <laughs> I haven't been doing anything for anyone else. I've just been doing that. Um, one thing that I was working on quite a bit yesterday, because I found myself without a project, is uh, I have in my, my bag that I made. I made a bag. Um, I have some more, so more of this fabric and a couple other, it's like a, a vinyl. Um, and I have some more, some more, so I'm going to make some more bags and um, maybe, maybe put them somewhere for sale. I'll bring them to Knit City for sure. But I've been working on this. And this is going to be a pair of socks. Um, I'm not a sock knitter. I... I like socks, I really love having socks, but I don't actively, like, there are sock knitters. I'm not a sock knitter. I'm a, I'm a sock knitter. <laughs> I have knit socks before. But these ones, um, I got this beautiful yarn. I bought it for Christmas for myself last year. And um, it is like an, an lace 80-20 sock in pressed flowers and it's just a three by one rib so hopefully this works but I'll show you there yeah it's just some really really cool colors and I had used some of it for my Marled Magic um, shawl by Stephen West and I I don't know it probably shouldn't have gone in there because it's so beautiful. <laughs> but I I wanted to use up every last bit as I could. Um, so what I am doing is I'm going to make Afterthought Everything socks. I'm going to do... Uh, I'm just going to finish... Like, I'm almost done. Look how tiny this is. I'm going to finish this ball of yarn. Um, and then I'm going to chop this in half and put on some cuffs and some toes and some heels and they'll just be as as long uh, in the leg as as they are. I have never done this before but I think it'll work. I mean the toes and the cuffs should be fine. I, I have a good grasp on how that should all work. The heels are something that uh, I'm a, I'm not worried about, but that's something that I am going to have to learn how to do because I've never, I've never done it before. I, if you have any good tutorials or, or have any tips, um, that would be great. <laughs> I haven't quite looked through anything. I'm just going to knit this first and then, and then see, um, probably do the heels last. But yeah, that's really, really the only, um, the thing I'm working on right now. I have some ideas of things I want to start, um, but I just haven't got there yet. I have some yarn coming. Um, I have a, some fiber company, Luma, coming in this beautiful, I don't know the color name, but it's beautiful light blue. And I'm making, uh, I'm doing a pattern for knit scene. So that'll be a knit scene, I think it's summer, it is, next year. So that's coming. So while I'm waiting for that, I just haven't really started anything else. There's a couple of sweaters that I want to make myself. I want to actually make myself um, another Mount Pleasant top because I don't, first of all, I don't want to wear out my sample. Mount Pleasant is a, a, a top that I designed. Uh, I don't want to wear out the sample and um, I just want, I just want one. I just want uh, another one. I think I'd make a little more ease, maybe. Um, maybe like an inch or so longer. I just, yeah. I just really love that. <laughs> uh, yeah. I also, sad story, I'm also going to 
try to knit Georgia a, another Gramps cardigan by uh, Gramps is a it's a pattern by Tin Can Knits and it's amazing. It's yeah, exactly what it sounds like, a little Grampus sweater. And I had made Georgia one probably a couple months ago and I had striped it. It's it's like a shawl collar button up cardigan, has little pockets, super cute. So I striped mine to use up some leftover yarn that I had and it used the very last of um, of the leftover yarn from Justin's first sweater that I made him. Um, it used the last of the leftover of my first sweater. It used up, you know, some of the last stuff from one of my first designs. And yeah, it just, it had all of the leftovers in it. And they all, like, the stripes turned out really nice. They're all jewel tones. I'll put a picture up um, if I can figure out how to do that. So I'll show that. And yeah, only a couple months ago, we finished it on our first camping trip. So it was like a big, like, uh, those cozy memory blanket things are kind of a thing right now. But this was my, like, cozy memory cardigan for Georgia. And it was so cute. And it's gone. Uh, I think I finally accepted the fact that it's gone. <laughs> it um, just disappeared. I have no idea. I have no idea where it went. Uh, I thought it may be at my mom's house, but I don't think so. I'll have to go there and double check, but it just, it's just gone and it was so cute. Um, anyways, so that got lost and it was really sad coming to the realization that it was gone. So, uh, to make things a little bit better, I decided to take Georgia with me to 88 Stitches so she could pick out her own yarn for a new Gramp sweater for the fall. And there was only a, <laughs> a touch of input from me, um, but these are the colors that she chose. They are all uh, Barocco Vintage DK, and I actually, yeah, the Gramps cardigan actually calls for worsted, but I think the last one that I made her was all DK anyways, so I think I'll just, I was going to return it and get, get the same colors in the worsted, but I think, I think it'll be okay. I just need to get, um, I just need to get a gray or something. For the for the contrasting bits, I had thought I had enough of something, but I don't think I do. So yeah. Anyways, Georgia uh, picked out her own yarn, and it was really cute, and um, it was very exciting. Uh, so she got this one. She said she wanted pink and blue, so she got this one, which. It's not something I would choose, and yeah, there's no color names on here, which is always sad, but color 2123, if anyone's interested. Then there's also um, this denim blue, or pink and blue stripes, and um, that is 2187. And this one, this is the one <laughs> that kind of got switched out by mom. She originally had this kind of dark dark seafoam green. I don't really know what to call it. It was kind of this weird green and it, it went but not just it just got switched out. <laughs> so then I chose this one uh, which is 212172. So yeah I'm gonna make her another Gramps with these guys. I think it'll be cute because she's cute. So that's my plan. I also have some some Fiber Company uh, Cumbria in the light gray. I don't know the colorway, um, but I, I bought a sweater's quantity worth, and that is going to be a sweater for me. I already have the pattern picked out. Uh, it is, I think, from last fall, um, last fall knit scene maybe. Um, the one on the cover, I don't know, I'll, 
I'll tell you more about it once I actually start it, which is, you know, who knows when. Um, well, that's about it. Oh yeah, I have one more thing that I wanted to um, share with you on the first the first podcast here, and that was um, my stash enhancement, I guess you would call it. Um, I don't actually, I mean, I'm kind of, I don't really have a stash. I mean, I do and I don't, but most of the things in my stash are uh, things are that I have projects for in mind. Um, because I do a lot of, I mean, most of my knitting, the majority of my knitting is design or um, making samples for my designs, things like that. So that was annoying. Um, about 20 minutes, 20 minutes in, my camera stopped recording for no particular reason. And there's no indicator on the front of the camera that says that it's recording. So yeah, I was just literally talking to myself for, I don't know, not very long. I don't think there was very much after that, but yeah, and then I tried to redo what I said right away, and then the battery died. <laughs> so I had to go and charge the battery for a little while, and hopefully, hopefully everything um, will work from here on out. I think there was just a couple more things that I wanted to talk about, one of them being, um, Stash enhancement, I think, is what I was talking about. Oh yeah, my stash. Um, my non-existent stash. I don't... I don't really have one. Um, I, I do. Like, I have yarn. I have... It's over there, so I'm looking over there. I do have yarn. It's all in bins. and um, But mostly I use it for... Like, a lot of the knitting that I do, it, it, again, it's for design samples or it's for other things and like I don't do a lot of knitting for myself or Justin or Georgia or anyone else. So I just don't, I just don't have a lot of stash and I don't like buying yarn um, unless I have a, a purpose for it in mind. Like every, every once in a while I'll go out and I'll buy some skeins that, um, that I find really interesting and I'll like buy them to swatch with. So I'll, I'll buy one skein to to swatch with, um, to see what it does and how it looks. But yeah, as for as for just buying buying yarn for the sake of buying yarn, I don't I don't really do that. Um, I have yeah, except for <laughs> except for the other day, I was watching a Pearl Up and Die podcast, um, who is Jaden of Midnight Cravings, and she is a, um, she actually test knit the Celista top for me. Um, she did this beautiful white and coral and blue thing. It was beautiful. Anyway, so I was watching her podcast, and I got about halfway through, and then I stopped, and I went to her website, <laughs> and I bought mini skeins. Um, I've never bought mini skeins before. I you know, I, it was just such a, such an impulse thing, <laughs> but I had to, they're beautiful and I'm glad that I did. Um, anyway, so it is, um, Midnight Cravings Yarn Company, and I got the Living Wall, um, mini skein set, so it's five, um, five different colors of mini skeins, and the soup, or Sweet Sock which is 80% Superwash Merino and 20% Nylon. And the colors are friggin' ridiculous. Okay, let's see if I can do this again. I practiced this before. <laughs> I practiced this beforehand. <laughs> no, it's not working out. It worked last time. Anyways, here we go. Okay. This is what I got. So all five of these little mini skeins. And I had a really hard time deciding um, between the living wall and uh, geode was the other one that I was um, really interested in because the, the variegated one is on sparkle and I just love the colors in it. But this one, the, the set had more grays and gray is a thing. Um, 
So I got this one, and I'm really happy that I did. Here are the grays. I could not tell you any of the color names, or colorway names, but you can get, um, they have the these mini skein sets in their Etsy shop. I'll put information for them places. Um, they have the mini skein sets. You can also buy them in full skeins. So um, this is the variegated one, which I'm really excited about because I don't usually buy um, variegated yarn, but I always really love it. Um, so I think, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is use them for um, use, sorry, <laughs> I think I'm going to use them for sock heels and toes and cuffs and contrasting things because I really don't know, um, I just don't know really what else to use them for. Um, I think they're really cool and I like having them and I just like, I like floating them around, but yeah, I have no idea what to do with them. So if you have any ideas, um, aside from, from sock stuff, um, I, let me know either in the comments or in the group or whatever, wherever you can find me. Just, what do you do with your, what do you do with your minis? Because I'm, I'm really excited about them, but I'm totally clueless. And I'm pretty sure, I think that's, that's all I wanted to talk about now. I think everything, that really threw me off. It's stopping and battery dying and that was annoying. Anyways, hopefully next time it won't, um, that won't happen. Uh, I just want to, I want to say thank you. <laughs> if anyone was still watching to the end, thank you for sticking around. I probably will, I think this is going to be a once every two weeks kind of thing. Um, I think once a week is very ambitious. And I find if I am too ambitious about things, then I set myself up, and then I don't do them, and then I feel bad about it, and then I don't do it. So I think once every two weeks is is a pretty good goal for now. And we'll see how that goes. I mean, it might turn into less, it might be more. Um, I just don't know. This is just the first one, and I'm really excited about it. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you want to watch another one, because I think there will be one. I really like it. Um, we'll see how editing, editing goes, and, um, yeah, yeah, so that was, that was number one. See you next time.